<sighs> One second, Jackie Hill Perry. Hold on, girl. Okay. <clears throat> What's up, y'all? Oh, crap. It's currently 645 on Sunday. And I don't know, I just had an urge to kind of pull out my camera and start a little vlog. Um, Honestly, I don't really have too much planned for this week don't really have anything i mean other than school and class and i have a test tomorrow oh yeah i actually have to show up for that test tomorrow at 11 a.m thank you for reminding me janiah yeah i don't know just wanted to start a little vlog let me turn on my ring light actually no i don't want to turn on my ring light only because we're just documenting real life at this point as y'all can see i tried to do a little pineapple thing today with my headband wig and it was it's cute from the front but i feel like it gives helmet when i turn to the side because like the back but anyways it did what it needs to do it looked cute or whatever but um right now just to show y'all kind of what i'm doing don't mind my dirty room but right now i'm doing a little bit of work on my computer i have to finish this by 11:59, so i have about six hours and then i'm watching a sermon on my phone and this is this is what my days look like honestly this is this is how my days look when i'm studying ain't nothing really too much aesthetic about there's obviously a wig typically when i'm just living regular old life nothing planned just doing the dang thing i don't really film because i feel like the internet kind of has us mind like uh what's the word I can't think of the word, but they have us kind of like brainwashed into thinking that we aren't supposed to really show our real, real lives. So I don't be wanting to get on here and vlog when I'm like literally just laying in the bed reading all day or legit just sitting on my computer doing work and I don't have an aesthetic iced coffee sitting next to me. I do indeed have iced water though. Ice melted, but it's still cold. <sighs> but no, that's really about it. And I just feel like... If we have platforms, and even if you're not like an influencer, have some, I don't even like being called an influencer because it's just like, I just get on here, show my real life, uh, and I talk, and I maybe put on a wig or two sometimes, but still, but since, since we're on that note, um, I actually did, let me show y'all a couple things I got. I was thinking I may get on here and start literally like, showing y'all stuff i get off amazon and especially my freaking books because y'all wouldn't believe how much stuff i order but my problem is and i know it may sound like i'm rambling right now but this is just the uncut unedited me okay i ramble i hop from five subjects before i can finish one and that's just who i am but anyways that's why i had to write stuff down especially with podcast episodes i have to write stuff down hopefully this don't thing this thing don't tell me out but anyways what was i saying oh yeah i just ordered so much stuff off amazon and i can't remember exactly what i was about to say but anyways um yeah so first things first i got this uh kind of like a pr package i guess and this is the bean box you can go check them out beanbox.com and honestly it was not a part of the contract that i need to do a youtube video so this is just me plugging y'all in because i thought it was a very interesting thing <clears throat> and so essentially this is like a black owned well this is a black owned business and so the um this is basically let me open it and show y'all it's basically a little makeup subscription um box or whatever and i actually really don't even wear that much makeup but i like the fact that it was geared towards black women because you know that they do have some of these little makeup subscription boxes but the products that come in them aren't necessarily geared toward not only black women but black women like me with darker skin tones and they they don't give what they're supposed to give and so the owner left a nice little note says thank you so much for taking the time to try out bean box oh yeah it's called bean box by the way can't wait to see the looks he create so yeah i'm excited to try that sometime in the morning um i should close it right and then another thing i just got off amazon was this bad boy and chloe yasmin actually put me onto this and I don't know if this is the exact one. My phone turned off. I don't know if this is the exact one that she got. But this is the cleaning brush kit. And it's basically for the tub, 
bathroom towel scrubber and i want to use this to clean out the shower because i hate like when my sister and stuff like wash her hair or like you know just i just hate when stuff be on the wall in the shower like dude like but at the same time i hate having to get in there with an actual rag and like clean it it's just it's annoying and i think it'll be a whole lot easier to actually keep it clean if it's not so hard to clean in the first place hence why i got this um and then yesterday i did a little I did a little Target haul, and so I'll show y'all real quick what I got. Just being completely honest, transparent with y'all, I'm literally just on here talking. I have no idea what this video is going to be. I honestly may just freaking take y'all with me for the rest of the night. I'm not doing anything, but just want to get on here and, you know, keep it real. Because even with the titles, everybody's so freaking aesthetic with the titles, and it's just like, bro, watch me do homework and watch a sermon on youtube but let me get this soap so i can show you how to soap so just a few things and then i'm gonna get back to my homework so first things first i got the baby i got the baby dove and if you actually watch chloe ask me videos y'all know y'all know how she robbed with his baby dove let me just say that and second of all on that no i feel like nowadays i also don't really like the title influencer because it's like if you're going to influence somebody, you're going to influence them regardless whether you call yourself an influencer or not. Which is what we see. Like, me, I'm the type of person, not to say I'm e easily influenced, but, girl, you can literally get on here and be like, y'all, look at these glasses. They're so cute. And if I see that your glasses are cute to me, I'm going to go buy them. And it was, it was not hard. And I see why people get paid for it. But the thing is, sometimes, like, when we can tell like it's like not genuine i think that's what makes people not really want to respond well to the influencing because it's just like they're like ah oh, guys look what they just okay anyways so yeah baby dove and so basically you know this is um since it's baby dove and it's very good for like sensitive skin and stuff like that you can use it to wash your bum bum and you know whatever else you know and it actually is very rich moisture moisture and I'm not sure if it had like if it's scented unscented I actually used it yesterday I don't think I really smell anything so yeah and then next what I got uh, y'all oh my goodness y'all don't understand what this soap does to me and it's really nothing too much hun it's legit the caress daily silk soap and I have been in love with this freaking soap for years but for some odd reason, I felt like showers were just better when you had uh, 12 different body wash scents. And I don't know, body wash is getting on my nerves. They don't get on my nerves, but like I just get tired of it sometimes and I want to go back to bar soap. And so if y'all ever looking for a bar soap, you guys, I'm literally in love with this soap. And so that's why I got a big pack because, you know, my thing is I like smells that last. And that's why when I do use body wash, I really do love Dove. But then I also, when I do hauls and stuff sometimes, I do them off camera. Because that's just how I am. I be hauling and I forget, oh, I can record this. And then it's just like, well, it's done. But yeah, I be doing all this crazy. I have so much body wash and stuff. But then it's like, I get so tired of it. And just, sorry. Yeah. Girl. This so... Oh my goodness, I literally love this soap. Like, if this, if this soap had candles, I wonder if that would be toxic if I melted the soap down into a candle. Oh my goodness, so good. If y'all know how, to, I can, how I can turn soap into fragrance, please let me know because I love this soap. Anyways, I don't even know where I was at. Oh yeah, a couple more things. And then I'm going to get back to work because at this point I'm just showing y'all stuff I bought and got off Amazon. So, next thing is I got these Zimba teeth whitening strips and if you have been on my channel not for too too long but i actually did kind of use these in a video like a long time ago um and i swear by these teeth whitening strips because like my teeth never really get dark but like i can kind of always tell and it's like girl maybe you need a little teeth whitening strip and they work pretty good um i know a few people have said like their first couple times using them it was just like may have left like a white mark but it goes away like the day after so nothing too crazy then last but not least and we already 10 minutes in talking giant but i don't care i'm taking back over my freaking platform <laughs> and we're gonna upload it anyway so yeah so next i have the bio oil skincare oil 
and literally y'all a lot of times when it comes to like stuff like this because i feel like i've seen this product a lot and because i saw it a lot it made me want to run from it because i'm just like mm, too many of y'all use this ain't no way it worked for me and for some reason i think i was just it was just one of them days but i was just on amazon and i was like you should get nope nope i think i heard chloe yasmin so obviously we see the re reoccurring pattern here it's chloe yasmin but yeah she said something about it like weeks ago in one of her videos weeks ago and i was like mm, that's interesting okay okay because she be knowing what she be talking about i be trying her routine shaving routines everything she, she knows she's talking about she has she has my trust okay so don't judge me for being easily influenced because she's proven herself to know what she talks about but she recommended this especially like for you know just put some oil on your butt like your body regardless right and i actually got it and i did not expect myself to like use it on my face and whatnot because i'm one of those people where i cannot put oil on my face at all like it just don't dry up and i have like combination skin to where it's dried and it's oily and it's dried and it's oily and so you know i really would not like want to put this oil on my face but like i did and this have oil it literally rubs in so well to the point where it's like it's not super duper oily and i'm laughing because it's just like like wow and so yeah i literally when i got out the shower i put this all over my body put it on my neck um put it on my face just put i literally i be doing it like holy water when i put it on my face or holy oil whatever it is i literally begin this oil ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, and that's it and i rub it in rub it in and it literally like i feel like my skin has kind of been glowing differently so with that being said um i think those are all of my purchases for the last few days but since we kind of see that this video has taken that kind of turn i'm gonna go ahead and finish my work and then later on tonight once i finish all of this that i have to do I'm going to show y'all the next half, which will be my books. Because I bought so many books the last couple days. um, And I simply, I don't know. I just, I feel like I just really wanted to get on here and talk to y'all. That's why that was the purpose of this video. So I'm not going to try to take y'all with me because I'm not going anywhere, anywhere tomorrow. May not go anywhere the next day. If it's warm tomorrow, I'll take Rocky to the dog park. Girl, okay, I'm going to go do my work now. okay so i'm back and i took my little headband wig off just because i feel like it was like i was just tired of wearing it we ain't got nowhere else to go it's the end of the night well not the end of the night but i did finish my work and i had a lot less than i thought i had which is good but a bad at the same time because that means i have to study for my exam which is why i didn't have a lot of work i feel like my bonnet right now is giving a whole lot of bonnet and not a lot of hair because i'm wearing like a wig cap under this um do i just want to put on a scarf instead i think so my headband wig was giving me a headache with all that on top of my head honey like oh it's so crazy when i was younger i used to read so much like i literally used to read so much and i feel like i can contribute a good bit of who i am today to those books i read like and I don't know if this is just something that happens after you learn how to read. You just want to read everything. I don't know. But when I tell y'all, I legit just used to read science books and textbooks. Like, my sister's old textbooks for fun. Don't get it twisted. Definitely not a genius or anything. But I did learn. Like, I did want to be an astronaut for a little bit. Because I learned about Mae Jemison. And I just thought that was so interesting. Um, But yeah, anyways, I recently got back into reading. And I have really been enjoying myself. Like seriously it's to the point where basically this is how it happened so i think i mentioned this in um sorry y'all moving around but i think i mentioned this in one of my podcast episodes before but just how basically i be i be thinking about so much you're not even like an overthinker type way but i just be having a lot going on like i just be i, I talk to myself a lot hence why i have a youtube channel so i can maybe talk to y'all instead and so don't think of it like oh girl you, you got stuff going on no it's really not that deep but say for example i'm like hmm we can go clean the bathtub 
I'm like I'm talking to you about one thing, but my mind is thinking about like three, four other things, right? And so during like during the day, I have to focus. So even though we thinking about cleaning the bathtub, reading this book, buying another book, and buying these little fake Yeezys off Amazon, I have to focus on one thing, right? And that that's how my day goes. And then when it's time to go to bed and I'm finally not doing anything like with my hands and stuff like that, all those things rush to my brain and now I'm thinking about them as time I go to sleep and then depending on what it is like if I'm thinking about like a podcast episode or something I will have the urge to get up and like start typing but then I'm like no because then I'll be up all night and so basically I started taking melatonin right and that was actually really helping me fall asleep but just stopped taking it and it wasn't like nothing bad happened or anything but I really did not want to like get a dependency or anything on the melatonin and I stopped taking it and you know it was gummies so they was good but I was just like you know what you are putting me to sleep but I don't want to have to rely on you to go to sleep so I'm gonna stop taking you and what I ended up doing instead which really works for me and, you know, this is why you have to really know yourself and know the things that you do. Because I know, typically, reading makes me tired. Not immediately. If it's interesting, not immediately. But typically, reading will make me tired, right? And so what I decided to do is, instead of watching TV, because if I watch TV and it's something good, I'm really going to stay up at 2 a.m. to finish the show. But if I'm reading, it's so easy and quick to close the book. So basically, when I finish doing whatever I'm doing, no matter if it's 12, 11, whatever... I'll turn off my light and then I'll turn my LED light on white as y'all can see now. And I'll just read a little bit. Just up until I get tired. Close the book. Be out like a light. Go to sleep. Boom. And so with that being said, since I've really been getting through these books, so far I finished about two or three books. Um, I finished The Case of Christ, Gay Girl, Good God. And both of these were very, very good books. Very, very informing books. Um, and so now I'm just going to go through and for those of y'all who also like to read, may give y'all some book recommendations. So definitely write this down. Honestly, if y'all want to, and if you've made it to this point in the video, you must really like me. And I really do appreciate that. That's one. But two, um, I know I'm probably naming a lot of products and stuff in this video. And this was not supposed to be like a plug video or anything. But just in case any of y'all are interested, I will try to link just about everything that i mentioned in this video um and honestly as far as it goes for my books i do have an amazon storefront i have an amazon storefront i really don't plug it in that much because i don't i don't even remember when i got an amazon storefront but just to just make it easier for me and you and maybe i can make a tiny commission or something but no I'm going to just go ahead and put all of these items that i list in this video that i got off amazon on my amazon storefront and so let me show y'all these books and so i have some up here i'll show y'all those last because i also have some in my little compartment down here so okay so oh yeah i have one in my purse too okay so first book i got is called who are you following by sadie robertson huff and i don't know if y'all listen to her podcast but her podcast is well that's good podcast and i really love her podcast and she you know she's a very great speaker and um i feel like i've learned a lot from her like just from listening to her podcast and you know videos and all that type of stuff and so i felt like this book which is about pursuing jesus in a social media obsessed world will be very very interesting because that's something that's very very hard to navigate and as y'all can see i'm kind of doing my thing just a little bit um but it still gets hard like it really does get hard especially nowadays a lot of times it's very convicting when we can spend five hours on social media and then like fall asleep two minutes into reading the bible so um this book is very good. Um, if y'all want to, y'all can go look this up. I'm not trying to spend five minutes on each book. So here's the cover and here's the book. And actually, when I ordered this, I accidentally ordered the guided journal at first. So I luckily have the guided journal as well. I have no idea where it is, though. Child, well, I had the guided journal. It looked like it didn't disappear on me. I feel like, let me look. Hold on. Okay. Well, I hate losing stuff, but maybe I'll find it after uh, we finish this anyways so yeah got that next book crossing the switchblade um i can't really tell you what this book about book is about because i haven't quite started my cousin kind of 
Loki put me onto this on Instagram. She said it was a really good book. So I ordered it. Then next we have the College Girls Survival Guide. And so it says 52 Honest Faith-Filled Answers to Your Biggest Concerns. Um, and this is by Hannah Seymour. And I kind of like briefly previewed this book when I was in um, the bookstore getting it. And it was just, you know, it just has some interesting little questions in there. And so, you know, yeah, that's this book. So if you're ever interested. And I, I don't know, I really got it because I thought, I thought it looked pretty interesting from just kind of sifting through the book. But if you're also in high school going to college, maybe this will be a good book for you as well. Because I remember my sister, my mom, but my sister, this one book about, like, being a teenager or something like that. Um, And I don't think my sister really read it, but I did. And so literally through that book, I learned so much just about boys, periods, all that type stuff. And it wasn't even for me. So maybe this is something that can sit in my house and then maybe my kids in the future will stumble across it and they'll enjoy this book. That's also why I love physical books too because I used to just get all my books online and have them on my iPad. But I much prefer to have the physical copy of each book because I just, I think paper is better. Y'all, this is a long video. Okay, let me hurry up. So then we have... Mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis. Um, and I feel like the title just about sums up what this book is. It's going to be about Christianity. I briefly started it. I think I got through like the foreword. So I'm not too far in this book. Um, but yeah, so it says the beloved classic on what all Christians believe. So that's a summary of what this book is. Then for all my entrepreneurs, my entrepreneurs out there, I got Words That Sell. I... This isn't like a book that you would actually read. This is more so like a book that you would go in. So if you have a business and you're promoting products and you don't, you want to use a different word for easy, effortless, intuitive, uncomplicated, straightforward, automatic, foolproof, step by step. And you know what? Something just came to me. When I'm doing my titles sometimes i have a hard time like thinking of other words and i do try to you know have catchy titles sometimes and so this is a pretty good one might need to use that then we have urban apologetics y'all so it's called urban apologetics restoring black dignity with the gospel by eric mason or eric mason is the general editor and then there's a lot of different authors throughout this book and a conversation i had recently actually inspired me to get this book because i felt like um i felt like there there's just a few things in society that needs some work or just conversations that people don't like to have with other people that need to be had in order to get somewhere and one of the conversations that i feel like is always recurring especially with me being a christian is other black people trying to come to me and tell me that i'm oppressed in my mind and that um i'm being enslaved by the white man to this day because i'm a christian and how christianity is a white man religion which i know is not true and if you do your research and if you also read the bible you'll know that that's not true as well and so i would i would like wonder not from a place oh why do they keep saying that but truly from a place of out like what's making people actually like say this or why do they why are they okay with thinking this way and so this book answers a lot of those questions and really provides some insight on just some things and just different belief systems that i did not know next here we go guess i might as well show y'all all of them okay we're gonna go fast here so then we got holier than thou by jackie hill perry which is a very very good book and at this point i'm calling them all good books obviously because i have them um, and so just to summarize some things that she says in this book, if God is holy, then he can't sin. If God can't sin, then he can't sin against you. If he can't sin against you, shouldn't that make him the most trustworthy being there is? A woman that is good with words. Okay. So yeah, got this book and I'm actually going to go back through and read this again because I hate the fact that sometimes when I read, instead of taking notes, I can be highlighting and I did not do that with this book and it was a very good book. So I'm going to go back and do that. Then we have Live on Purpose by Sadie Robertson Huff once again. And this is actually a Devo book. And honestly me, I don't know if you were supposed to do Devo's 
daily but like with some books like this i want to read them every day but i'm thinking this is like a daily type thing so maybe i should start reading this daily but very nice book if you're into devotionals then we have i know why the cage bird sing, bird sings by maya angelo um and so this says this is a little i'll just read a brief summary here's a book as joyous and painful as mysterious and memorable as childhood itself i know why the cage bird sings captures the longing okay i can't read and my camera's about to die let me hurry up the bluest eye by tony morrison song of solomon by tony morrison and the screw tape letters by c.s lewis okay and so that's my little mini library in my room and so now i'm about to go use this little cleaning thing in the bathroom and y'all can come with me i'm not really gonna be talking just gonna be cleaning so let me change this battery and we're gonna go to the bathroom Spend the winter all alone, yeah Cause I don't bleed fall I don't bleed fall yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, had to ask a question if you happy, girl. I'll change your mind anytime in this happy world. Let's go and kick it, you and me, and see what love unfurls. Cause, girl, I bet you love some tugging on them lovely curls. Hold up a week up after that, believe we started dating. My heart was racing, but never felt my time was wasting. My mind was chasing, ain't no debating. I'm feeling you, and trying to get together, figure out what to do. Even after some disasters, we were making it work. But never did I ever think that you would do in the dark. My eyes are literally burning. But anyways, that's really all I'm doing today, y'all. Hopefully, honestly, if you made it to this point in the video, you're definitely a real one. Um, and if you fast forward it to this point, you're real as well. But anyways, hopefully I ain't talk y'all heads off too much. But now I'm literally about to go air fry my fried chicken from earlier. And then I'm about to read my book until i fall asleep and yes it's 804 so i should get a good bit of this red um and with that being said that's it for this video that's it literally that's it so hopefully ooh, child what was that y'all the lighting is so bad right now i just refuse to turn on my ring like i refuse but anyways hopefully y'all enjoyed this video i'll see y'all on the next one whatever that is whenever that's gonna be um and yeah goodbye hope y'all have a great amazing day night evening whatever it is <laughs>